morning guys, welcome to today's video. We just finished at Alex's appointment again downtown and now we're gonna go for breakfast. I'm just gonna go have something Alex didn't eat yet today and she's starving. We're gonna go eat and then we're gonna head back to her house so that I can finish up my editing and she has a few things to do. And, uh, and then I don't know what we're up to today, we will see. A few things we'll probably end up doing, I'm not too sure. Look how good that looks. Oh. Nothing better than eggs, bacon, and fruit. Potatoes. And potatoes. I didn't get potatoes though. But the potatoes here are freaking good. And some toast, some rye bread. Oh, look at the teddies. The little peanut butter teddies. I got hot chocolate. Yeah, look at how good that looks. Oh, yes. Why'd you get hot chocolate? Because you're cold? I wanted something sweet, like that wasn't just fruit sweet, like actual sweet. And it's warm, so it helps. <laughs> Yummy. So huge time skip forward now. We are at the grocery store picking up some food for dinner. We're gonna make some fajitas tonight, so Alex is getting some gluten-free stuff, and I am gonna pick myself up some tortillas. Which kind do I want? I'll just take the regular ones, the whole wheat ones. I like to, I like to use the large ones because they're bigger, you can see here, so you can fit you can fit more stuff in it, so it's a little bit better. All right, so now I'm gonna go pick up something, some meat for me, whatever's like cheapest and on sale. Sometimes I get turkey, sometimes I get beef, just whatever's like on sale, whatever's cheapest. We also got some peppers, some onion, some mushrooms. Alex likes to use the mushrooms, they taste pretty good. So Alex is getting her gluten-free stuff. She's been stuck on her phone though for the last I'm 15 minutes. I'm booking our flights. <laughs> do you not want to come? I have to do it now or else we're not going to get the deal. I'm just bugging you. Okay. Did you get what you needed? Um, I'm getting just my things. What'd you get, tortillas and did you get a little treat? No. You know? You didn't get uh, your, your favorite over here? I don't know what you're talking about. Little animal cookies? <laughs> you can't just put it back in a random spot. Yes, I'm getting them, okay, whatever. They're good. I think someone might have got hurt at the uh, grocery store. It's an ambulance there. And a cop over there behind. I don't know if you can see the cop, yeah. Hopefully they're okay. So I didn't end up filming much of today because we literally got home after breakfast and sat down in bed and both of us didn't sleep a lot last night. I only slept like four and a half hours and then Alex didn't sleep much more than that. And so we were both just like falling asleep all day. Like I would fall asleep and then she would fall asleep and then I would fall asleep and then she would fall asleep and we were like literally doing nothing all day. So I wasn't gonna film us doing nothing. So now it's nighttime, well nighttime, it's only six. And so we just finished at the grocery store and now we're going over to my house to cook. But I don't know if you guys can see out the windows right now. You can see a little bit of like drops on the window. But it's raining like crazy right now. Which is good because it'll wash away all the dirt. And we have this saying here, I don't know if it's like a saying around the world, but here it's April showers brings May flowers. I don't know if that's like a normal thing. But it basically means that during the spring, it rains a lot during the month of April, and then come May, everything's washed and cleaned and drinks all the water and then all the flowers bloom. But it's not April. I know, but that's what I was gonna say is that I think it's like a month early this year. It's gonna be March showers bring April flowers. <laughs> I don't know, we'll see. Because I still kind of think we might get more winter, but the more it goes, the more it warms up and rains, I kind of think we won't get any more winter. Every single year, people yeah, it rains but, every single March and it gets mild and all the snow melts. By St. Patrick's Day, there's no snow on the ground and it's warm out. And then it sm snows every April and everyone freaks out that it's like, oh my God, it's snowing in April. I know, that's why That's why I'm still like, I'm not convinced that it's not gonna snow. I'm but, like, pretty sure. Normal. Like this weather. It, it seems a little bit extreme and we had a really, really, really warm February. 2015 February was the coldest we've ever had since they started recording in like 115 years. And this year it was like ridiculously warm. I mean, I wasn't here that often. So. But we will see, there'll probably be a vlog in like two weeks where it's a huge snowstorm again and there's tons of snow on the ground. Hopefully, hopefully, hopefully it doesn't snow again. So we got all the veggies cooked, there's peppers, the onions, and the mushroom, and now I'm getting ready to cover my chicken in some sort of like a wet mixture and then a flour mixture so that when I fry them it's a little bit crispy on the outside. And that's just seasoned flour, oops I'm making a shadow here. It's just seasoned flour so it's flour with like some spices and salt and pepper mixed in so that's why it looks a little bit red, a little bit darker. So we got the veggies done cooking, got the crispy chicken strips done cooking, Alex is just finishing up her tortilla, mine are already nice and warm. Then we got some avocado, some hot sauce, sour cream, cheese, oh it's gonna be so good. Mmm, look how good that looks, all the nice colors. 
I love the green of avocado. Makes it so good. How's it taste? Oh, super out of focus, there we go. It's good? Mm-hmm. Yeah? Isn't everyone's favorite part of cooking the cleanup after? Put away all the dishes, now we gotta wash these ones. Lots and lots of dishes to do. Every time, every single time, he's always waiting. Hey, you're not allowed. No. You're not allowed in here. Yeah. <laughs> he's so cute though. Hey, big boy. Look at your eyes. They're open so wide right now. Double petting. Double petting. He doesn't like kisses. No, he doesn't like being picked up either. <laughs> he gets annoyed. He loves when I pick him up. He just wants to explore. <laughs> you made it. Lucy. You did it. Can you He likes that blanket. It's soft, ACC. Hmm. Oh, that's a purr. You hear him? Yeah. He's so happy. He loves coming in here. It's so cute. And he purrs so loud whenever he comes Put in. Put your here. foot on him. I don't think. I didn't go to the pool today, so I don't know if he'll smell it. Ew. That's so gross. He's so weird. He's got a foot fetish or like a chlorine fetish. Yeah, but I didn't go to the pool. Like oh, yes, eating. I did wear these at the pool this morning. He's eating your toes. Yeah. Oh, wow. Look at this. Yeah, it's my calendar. And I don't, what I do is I don't, I don't look at the month yet. So like, I don't know what's coming. And then at the end of the month, I switch it and then I see what it is. So I like that. Relax. It's all good. Yeah, I put that there. It reminds me sometimes when I'm like stressed or nervous, I look at it and it reminds me. You're so relaxed. It's all good. <laughs> the reason, the reason Cece loves socks like that. Oh but, my god, look at my hair, it's so curly. But he specifically likes my socks because he was actually a cat that lived at the outdoor summer pool I used to work at and he would literally drink the pool water, so he would drink the chlorine. And we used to feed him like whatever we had in the staff office, like muffins and chips and like whatever. And then at the end of the summer, he was, like he was a kitten. And at the end of the summer we were like, crap, what are we gonna do with him? And I was like, you know what, I'll take him home. So I brought him home, gave him some cat food, whatever. And then he's been here ever since. It's been like three or four years now. But he still has like that addiction to chlorine or like the obsession with chlorine. So my socks often have chlorine water in them because when I'm coaching, my feet get splashed and then my socks get wet and then they dry. So he can still taste that chlorine. And he's like obsessed with it. Whenever I come home from work and then at night with like my shoes and my socks, if they're a little bit wet, he like goes crazy and he attacks them. Tell them why he's called CC. He's called CC because when we worked at the pool, he would always come when the pool was closing. So we called him Closing Cat. So like C dot C dot. That was his name. Look at what Alex wrote on my hand. <laughs> so this says, De Bouge is the best, because we call each other Bouja. It's like our little nickname. And then this one, she said, I love my Yobo. <laughs> Because if you guys watch Lost, that's what that's what Sun and Jin call each other. Yeah, but that's not how you spell it. Yeah, because I, I think in Korean it means like, my love. Yeah, like honey or like my love or like sweetie or something. Is anyone know. Korean? Yeah, if you speak Korean, what does it mean? Yobo. 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 They say yobo or she calls him Jin Sushi. <laughs> Jin Sushi. <laughs> she always says Jin Sushi. <laughs> we say Jin Sushi. Atake. Atake. <gasps> Look at the size of my water glass. Dun 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 dun. It's huge compared to Alex's. Alex's is normal too. It's like a pint-sized beer glass. And then mine is huge. I drink a lot of water throughout the day. Usually like, if I had to guess, I'd probably say about six liters of water a day. So I have like a big liter bottle at work, a Gatorade one, and I usually drink two while I'm working out, two while I'm coaching, and then throughout the rest of the day, like two more liters of water. So I'd say like around five to six liters of water a day. I don't know if that's a lot for most people, but for me, I find it's a lot. I find I'm like constantly drinking. And if I go like an hour or two without drinking a lot, I get really, really, really thirsty and I need to drink. Next day, continuation of the vlog, guys. Fell asleep last night. We were both still pretty tired from not sleeping much the night before. And we sat down to watch some TV in bed and then just fell asleep, we were watching some Lost on Netflix and then just completely passed out. So we did not finish it, but this morning, my nose is actually running a little bit and I think it's because he let CC my cat up on my bed and I'm not usually supposed to do that because I'm really allergic to cats and so if there's like any cat hair on the bed, it'll give me allergies. 
So I think this morning I'm a little bit suffering from that because my nose is a little bit itchy and I'm kind of like my nose keeps running, not running, it like gets stuffed and then I blow it, gets stuffed and then I blow it and then it's kind of annoying. But I'm gonna go wash up and then I'm actually gonna make some breakfast because I'm really, really, really hungry. Alex, are you hungry too? Mmm, like kind of. Yeah? Oh my god, sorry, I'm scratching my head. <laughs> Feels good, eh? What? <laughs> I'm not wearing a bra. You can't see anything, anyways. I'm wearing your shirt, because last night... Okay. Last night I woke up at 3 a.m. This is the sweater I was wearing. Actually, I don't want to show it, because I'm going to show it in a haul. Okay. But I was so hot, and I was dying. I, like, took off all the covers, and I, like, got naked, because I was like, I literally cannot breathe, and then I had to go to the bathroom really bad, so I didn't want to walk. So you stole a shirt. naked, so I stole your shirt. Oh That's my God. cute. Ah. <laughs> Love it. Yeah, but I'm gonna go eat because I'm not gonna have time to eat later because I have to edit yesterday's video. Well, actually, it's now today's video, but it's both. Clips from yesterday and clips for today is going up today, so I have to edit it. And then I'm gonna film today's video. Today's video is gonna be another fitness video. Well, that I'm filming today, it's gonna go up tomorrow. Sometimes this gets confusing because I was like film the day before and then edit the next day. I get confused sometimes. But I'm filming a fitness video on this week's fitness video. If you guys want to check it out tomorrow, it's going to be my best stretches to help relieve back pain. Because I know a lot of people suffer from back pain, like lower back, upper back pain. So these are like my best stretches to help relieve some back pain. And like a few light exercises to help strengthen in the right places. So I hope you guys are going to enjoy that video. Make sure you guys check it out tomorrow. But yeah, I'm going to go make some breakfast. So this morning we made nice breakfast burritos. So inside is egg, cheese, mayonnaise, some of the leftover vegetables from yesterday. And then I took some grapes on the side. I got my giant water glass here. Alex already ate hers. She had one downstairs and now yeah. she's having a yogurt. Delicious. I love breakfast burritos. I find the wraps are like my favorite form of bread because it just like keeps everything tucked in together. Just finished that delicious, delicious breakfast and I'm gonna bring the video to an end for you guys. Thank you again for watching. As always, I really, really appreciate every time you guys watch my videos and when you guys leave me comments. I love, love, love chatting with you guys. So leave me comments down below. Anything, any questions, any comments, anything at all you wanna leave, let me know because I love to respond. For today's message of positivity, what I want you guys to think about a little bit is that sometimes we need to know when to, like, what's the saying? You need to know when to pick your battles, if that makes any sense. And what that means essentially is that you need to know when to really push on things and when to not and just sort of take a step back and let things be the way they are. Because sometimes fighting or arguing or, or getting into disagreements or whatever you want to say isn't really worth it. And we need to know when those moments are and just step back and, and let things be and, and let other people do what they want to do and, you know, sort of not, not give up with what we believe in, but like I said, pick your battles and know when it's really worth it to, to push on something because sometimes it's not worth it and it'll just keep being an argument and keep creating distance between two people or three or four or five people or a group of friends or whatever. So sometimes it's good to just, just hold back and, and not push on it and not fight about it. Just sort of accept the way it is and, and try to move forward with that. And when you first start trying to do that, it's pretty tough, but then you realize later on that it's not, it's not as hard and you don't need to do that all the time. You know, sometimes you want to stick to your values and stick to what you believe in or what you really feel, but sometimes you got to realize that it's just not worth it. And it's easier to just, you know, let it be and, and remember that everything's fine and just move forward from that moment. So I want you guys to think about that a little bit. It's something that I think we all go through in life where we get to this situation where you're fighting with your friend or you're fighting with your parents or you're fighting with whoever and both of you are so stuck in in your point of view or your opinion or whatever you want to call it and neither of them want to give in and sometimes we have to be the bigger person and just, just accept it and not let it bother us too much. So I hope you guys had an awesome day. Remember to give this video a big thumbs up if you enjoyed it. Make sure you subscribe down below so you don't miss out on any of the videos. Alex, you want to say bye or anything? Bye! <laughs> we'll see you uh we'll see you guys tomorrow. Bye.